Thank you. Oh my God. Look at that smile on my face right now. Does that look like somebody who's freaking stressed right now? I don't think so. But you know, I'm telling you, honestly, the cops that came up to us earlier, our good friend Pat here, these guys treated me like, you know, because Adamson's was a completely different energy. But the way these guys are treating us here today, I'm starting to feel all inside like cheery and shit, but, but I gotta get angry again because I'm pissed off. Now I guess, guys, I just want to remind you something. I want you to keep the sidewalk a little bit more open so that if we have anybody with mobility issues, it can get through a little bit easier. You guys okay with that? Make a little bit of space, okay guys? Thank you. Now, that being said, there's a surprise speaker today. One of our polite Canadian patriots, probably twice my size, but this guy's got a heart of gold. I already know this guy, I'm telling you. Flew all the way here from Red Deer, Alberta. Put your hands together for Pat King! How's it going, Toronto? I said, how's it going, Toronto? Yes, he's correct. Lamont is right. I flew in all the way from Red Deer, Alberta. But there's a reason why I flew. After what we saw at the Adamson Barbecue, Alberta stands with Adam. When we see that kind of stuff happening, we know what's coming next. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as of today, five minutes before coming up here on the back of the truck, they shut down the mall in Calgary, Alberta. It is under lockdown evacuation mode because they weren't social distancing. The next thing they're going to do is they're going to start with the small businesses back home. And we've been hit hard. Alberta's been devastated by this government. But what's going to happen next? What is next? And that's the question. Now what if we had a crowd like this that went and stood in front of a Costco? You stood in front of a Walmart and said, you can't stay open. The choice is yours, ladies and gentlemen. You got to do what you got to do. But as Canadians, we stand proud and free. We stand on guard for thee. And the men and women of our armed forces who lost their lives fighting for our right to stand here right now, it is our duty to stand up for them now. They gave us those freedoms. Let's get them back! Wow. Wow.